starting off with this dark denim jacket that I got from Goodwill for like six bucks. And I chose a darker denim because I think that it looks good with the contrast when I add the zippers and all that extra stuff. So yeah, now I am cutting off like the very bottom part of the jacket. And um, we're gonna use this a little later, you'll see. I'm gonna add a little something, something. We're gonna use it as like a little waist belt thing. So I'm cutting that off. And now I'm going to just go about one third up because that's the length that I wanted my jacket and I'm just gonna cut that bottom portion off. So the way that I'm cutting this jacket is a little strange but I wanted to make sure that it was like as even as possible. So um, I'm just like basically cutting the front part and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna cut off like what I just cut, I guess, cut the front part off. And then now that I'm at the back of the jacket, I can just cut straight across and I don't have to worry about it being uneven or anything like that so I just feel like you made it easier but if you have a easier way to cut it then go ahead and do you boo now I'm gonna go ahead and just pick random spots on my jacket and distress those spots so I'm just taking some scissors and I am carefully it doesn't look like I'm carefully doing it because I sped it up but I promise you I was being as careful as possible um, even though I ended up cutting myself somehow but I'm just like taking the scissors and scraping the denim so that we can get that distressed look uh, by the way please ignore that leopard print that is on the jacket I'm gonna like cut that out because it's so ugly so now I picked a random spot on one of the arms of the jacket and I'm basically just cutting like slits going down the arm just to give it a different distressed look and yeah. Okay, and so once you're done distressing the jacket, you're gonna go ahead and throw it in the washer and then throw it in the dryer after that, just because it just looks better when you do that. It doesn't look as rough and it looks more edgy. I don't know, it just looks better. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part. We're gonna add the, the zippers. So I'm basically just taking the zippers and I'm placing them where I want them to go just to get an idea. So now, I'm just taking my scissors and you're gonna cut straight across wherever you decided to, you know, place your zippers at. And then just basically put the zippers inside of where you just cut. And so now you're gonna take some pins and you're gonna pin the top portion of the cut onto the zipper, making sure that the zipper is underneath the fabric and you're gonna do this so that it's easier to sew it obviously or if you're gonna glue it you can glue it as well and you don't really have to worry about the pins you can just take some glue dab it on the zipper and then fold the fabric on top of where you just glue and then like the fabric the extra fabric that we have on the bottom we're gonna um like fold that flap over and we're gonna sew that a little later. But for now, let's just go ahead and sew down the top portion. As you can see, I was kind of struggling because <laughs> the jacket would not, like it wouldn't move easily. So I have to like do it inch by inch, but yeah. And then now I'm doing the same thing for the other zipper. So now that we're done sewing the top portion of the cut, we're gonna go ahead and move down to the bottom. And I'm basically just folding over the extra fabric and pinning it down just because I wanted it to be a little, I wanted to have a little more contrast to it, add a little more color, and I think it looks pretty cool and edgy. And once we get done pinning it down, we're gonna go ahead and start sewing that down. I'm 
I'm so sorry. I did not realize that my arm was in the way the entire time. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So once you get done sewing, you are all finished and here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Love you guys. Bye.